involves shaving, glitter, hairspray, and a wig. But instead of performing at a nightclub, Hi, hello, and the venue is the Brooklyn Public Library in Park Slope at 10 o'clock in the morning. Who wants to be a drag queen when they grow up? <laughs> Little Miss Hot Mess. Who is ready for a story? Is the host of Drag Queen Story Hour. This one is called Worm Loves Worm. Talking, singing, and reading. We can both be grooms. To an audience of preschoolers, toddlers, and their caregivers. The hips on the drag queen go swish, swish, swish. swish. Alright, Shalom. This is a hard one by Nyasha Allah of the GMS Lions Den Camp. I want to say Kal Halayim, La Yahawa, Ba Hashem Yahawa Shai, Ba Hashem Haraka Kodash, Ma'amath, the Balana to the Elder Apostles of GMS and the Elders, and Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, your children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, my bad, I'm trying to get my volume on this music correct in the background. So um, I play music in the background so my neighbors don't be all in my business. Uh, <clears throat> now, this is the thing, man. Uh, this shit here, I don't even know what to say about this one, man. You know, I usually don't like going into these type of topics. But uh, I saw this video. I saw this video of this transgender male, right? They call him a woman or some shit. Or drag queen. When that's... that's um, Oh, they had drag queens and transgenders. You know, um, it's funny because um, as I'm speaking, we have neighbors moving in next door. And uh, they're, uh, uh, what you call it, dykes and lesbians. So this is all, this is madness, man. This right here is nothing but abomination, you know. And um, so I'm just getting to the scriptures, man. I'm not going to speak too much on it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start off with this. Second Ezra 9 and 22. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let, the, let my great be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect. So the one that's going to be perfect in faith, doing righteously, keeping the laws. And one of the laws is that a man should not wear women's apparel and that a, man, a woman should not wear man's apparel. Right? Now, um, <clears throat> you also have tra transgenders. You know, I was watching the boxing earlier, um, what other day, and it popped up on the screen. They had a damn uh, big ass male uh, man dressed up like a, I think it was a tranny, but he was a um, MMA fighter, <laughs> or boxing, some shit, or MMA, I think it was. And was fighting a female MMA in the MMA, and and beat a silly, put knots all over her head, man. So that was basically she got pummeled by a man. <laughs> that's basically what happened. You know, they say her and all that. Now that's a man, yo. Even if they cut off their genitals, the most high look at them as a uh, abomination now. But it was originally a man, a male, right? male genitalia and the woman had female um, parts right but um so let the multitude perish that's born in vain so they're born in vanity even two-thirds of our people that are moving at the homosexuality and transgenderism and all the perversions and um, death man that's all it is death walking death you know, they, they're getting all these rights and shit and sitting in classrooms trying to teach it to the children, looking like a fucking clown. Dude, man, man, you know what I'm saying? And um, and you take your daughters outside, if you have daughters and they have to see that shit, or sons that have to see that, and you have to worry about them being molested by uh, uh, grown-ass men out here, man. Shit madness, man. So that's why I'm not going to speak on it too much. I'm going to get the scriptures on this topic. All right. Romans uh, 1 and 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools 
and change the glory of the uncorruptible Yahweh or power into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. So they made idols of um, of men that were on the earth. They turned them into idols and made statues and started worshiping them. Like Nebuchadnezzar or um, what's his name? Or Nimrod. Right? Even images and pictures like Caesar Borgia. <laughs> and um, right, and they worship owls and 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 elephants and shit. It's crazy, man. Them Hindus, right? Um, it says in creeping things. Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So they were perverted in their minds, I mean, it changed in their minds, right? They were abomination with their imagine, imagination, with their thoughts, and it manifests. And it shows what type of person they are. When you see a woman looking like a man, it shows that she got demons on her, or a man looking like a woman, they got demons on her. And getting transgender parts and shit like that. All right. Uh verse twenty three. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, through their own mind. All right, so he gave them over to their own thoughts, and through their own thoughts, they follow after uh, their senses, or or pride, or doubt, or, or their perversion, or demons, to where a man will uh, lust at the little boy, like in the Catholic Church, or um, or they want to spread that damn d disease, man. That's why the Lord giving them AIDS and shit like that. Right, um, and they got this shit called homophobic. Nah, it ain't, it ain't about being scared of a damn uh, homosexual. It's about uh, that shit just being wrong, man. And this shit fucking uh, uh, nasty. It's, 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 grew up my whole life in Philadelphia. It was set in stone that that shit was wrong, and I always knew that from a child. So you know. So this, that shit is taught to the children, man. They pick it up from the vibrations around them and the shit they putting in the foods <clears throat> and on TV and the cartoons and the women raising the children, the boys. It's America, man. Babylon. Right? The harlot, the place of uh, conspiracy Sodom. All right, uh, verse 24, wherefore Yahweh gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creature, the creator, so like you, who is blessed forever among. So they started worshiping these idols, which led them over to doing over time, our people became more and more wicked, more and more uh, the the men are homosexuals now, the women are dyking or want to be men and crazy doing all kind of shit with their damn flesh. When this body belongs to the Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, this temple is his, all right? And that's depopulation. So, uh, and I don't give a goddamn who like it, man. Is verse 25 who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie or verse 26 for this cause Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections so even their affections their thoughts their imaginations are all wicked and vile for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature so it's against nature for a woman to be with another woman you know um, and for a man to be with a man, yo, shit is madness, man. 
you know. Um, I grew up when I was little, I used to want to see a woman with a woman, you know. But uh, you can have multiple wives, but they're not supposed to be uh, kissing each other, seeing each other all naked, and um, it's supposed to be order to everything, all right? Uh, uh, you know, ain't supposed to be no damn orgy. So, uh, who changed the, what was that, 26? For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which it, which is against nature, right? And they set laws in place against you speaking out against it. That's how you know this place is not for the scriptures. America likes to swear in on the Bible, which the Bible tells you not to swear. The presidents get inaugurated. Inauguration goes back to warlocks being witchcraft um, into, uh, uh, into their society. You know, and judges, they make you swear in on it. <laughs> It's crazy, but they don't honor what the scriptures say. They do everything contrary to the scriptures in this place. All right, for it says, um, in verse 27, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. So it's a natural use to use a woman in that way to have your woman and you use her, use her body, and she use you for you know for that intimacy and that uh for your leadership and things like that of course i'm talking about uh sexually right now so it's, it's beautiful for a man and a woman to be together or a man to be with multiple women to spread his seed but in this society it's not smart to do that to spread your seed everywhere you know you, it's a trap for you all right you got to pay for it so is um you know now it says and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another it's crazy man men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recon recompense of their error which was meet so whatever comes of that them two men being together they're going to get disease from it and death. And that's what they deserve, man. Because the Most High really, um, uh, his, law is still in, his laws are still in place, but we're under grace right now. And that's what you people are doing in the time of grace. The scriptures say, shall we sin because um, we, are, um, uh, we are under grace? God forbid. All right. You got a judgment for what you people are doing out there and put LGBT movements and shit. And putting laws in place so when a, a man speak up or a woman speak up about, against it, um, you, you damn homosexuals try to look at the at, at the straight people like we wrong. You know, like we ain't supposed to talk about it. Well, this is you got rights when we got rights. Called free speech. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men. Working that which is unseemly, right? Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge. See, if they had power, they had true power. See, what they're dealing with, the darkness on the left-hand side. That's witchcraft. That's demonic. You know, you see a woman with tattoos all over her face. And she looked like a man. Pants sagging and shit. And men walking around with their pants sagging, their butt out. You know? And um, chasing after another man. That shit's fucking crazy, man. That's why I like going to this damn topic, man. But uh, verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. It's crazy, man. Being filled with all unrighteousness. See, they completely got turned inside out. Literally, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. And that's what you see amongst them little crowds, man, the clubs and 
and the, the um, LGBT movements. That's what you see. And that's what, all of this, that's his name, backbiters, haters of the Most High. See, they hate the Most High, man. Right? They hate the righteous way because they went the wrong way. The spiteful, right? They, they despiteful in the Lord, face of the Lord. It's proud, right? Because they don't think the Most High exists. Boasters, boasting of their damn homosexuality and perversion. They declare their sin as Sodom, right? Inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers. And that's twofold, disobedient to parents, man. They won't listen to the prophets. They won't listen to the laws and the scriptures, right, and wisdom. And they won't listen to their own parents that saying, hey, yo, man, what are you doing? You, you ain't supposed to be no damn homosexual. And they be like, well, daddy, like, like, what's the name, Magic Johnson, son? <laughs> He's looking like a Sasquatch, big ass homosexual, wearing a damn tutu, looking like something Patty LaBelle would wear. And he big with fucking Magic Johnson and shit. Fucking trippy, man. Some trippy shit, Holmes. That's some scary shit, man. I don't know what everybody else thinking, but that's some scary stuff, man. Like I say, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. That's some scary stuff there. That shit scary like the movie It. You see a homosexual. They scary, man. They creepy. They got demons on them, man. 31, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, implacable, I think I'm saying that right, immersive, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, see, everybody know the scriptures, what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah, that's why the Most High had that set in place, that's why he made that happen, as an example, you know, and that's why everybody knows. Everybody knows. Yeah, man, I know. Like some, they, they don't even supposed to be doing this. They know that shit. They be all depressed and bugged the fuck out. Ah, anyway, man. 32. Who knowing the judgment of the Most High. If they got judgment for it, it's going to be fire. And uh, thus say if you howl, man. You don't, don't, don't kill the messenger. It's, you know, the Most High got a judgment for you. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So the ones that the ones that um, that don't even uh, that that aren't homosexuals, but they agreeing with it, right, or not standing up against it, then they gonna perish as well. They worthy of it as well, right? This is Isaiah three and nine. The show of their countenance doeth witness against them. So, you know, the thing, their whole lifestyle witnesses against them, man. All right? Because you judge a tree by its fruits, the things they say and how they how they are, man. How do you look? It's just the way you are. If you carry yourself like a man of the Lord or a woman that's in the truth, then you're going to have a certain look about you, a certain demeanor, integrity, you know, laws and statutes and culture about you. Right? And royalty. But if you're in this world, you're going to have that way about you, a certain darkness about you, a certain uh, character of this world. And it could be anything. <laughs> Shit's crazy. <laughs> it says, uh, they show the countenance do a witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. See, they're not even hiding it. Even if they hid it, the Lord will find it out. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. See, that's why you're going to get the fruit of your own way. you rewarding evil unto yourself by doing that. I can be what I want to be. All right? You, you're going to be put to death by the Most High. That's what's about to happen. So you can be that. They got Pink City. They got the damn Mason. Uh, on the video I did it earlier against rebuking him, uh, that damn Mason, he said uh, uh, he saw the Holy Spirit and it was pink. I said, oh, shit. And the guy asked him, he said, hey, you, you sure that wasn't the trans, uh, uh, 
a demon that was trying to get to get to you instead you know like trying to touch you or some shit <laughs> like a tranny it's, it's just crazy it's just all wicked man and that's what they deal with pink city and all that man they dealing on the left hand side pink right pink is just a color but they use it and they use the rainbow the rainbow is a covenant that the lord made all right with uh with his people really but you know with the earth saying he's not going to destroy the earth anymore with, with water all right the flood to destroy everybody the ultimate judgment this time it's going to be with fire with nuclear fire and that's why the rainbow is set in place that prism you know a spectrum that beams from the pit prisms which are the raindrops all right and that is an iris so it's a rainbow is a circle that goes around it's fully around but we only see the arc of it so that's why it's called the arc and it's set in place as a covenant after the after the flood but they use it and they're so disrespectful and spiteful as the scriptures say and they use it for their lgbt movement saying many um levels of their wickedness how about that so what it says uh verse 10 say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings right so the righteous are going to eat the fruit of their doing and that fruit is wisdom and we eating that now and also the kingdom salvation everything that comes with it all right 11 woe unto the wicked it shall be ill with him for the reward of his hands shall be given him you know that's male and female you know are you damn dice that look like men when um be sizing you up if you look at a female and they're looking at you like you're looking at their girl or some shit this shit crazy man this place is, is this place is a trip man, like twilight zone this is wisdom of solomon 14 and 22. moreover this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the most high but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance so it's a war of ignorance wrestling against their flesh being ignorant of the lord right those that's why they groping in the dark those so great plagues called they peace so they they're in plague they're being plagued right now when they went uh, in the kingdom Oh, um, so like in David's uh, society, uh, in David's kingdom, on the old times, they would have been against that too. They would have been against homosexuality, but we've been cut off as a nation and turned inside out, man. And our people have followed at the idols, followed at the adultery, followed at the homosexuality, and all kinds of abominations, man. You know? So it's a great war spiritual war you know uh so they call those great plagues that they're dealing with it's a plague to be a homosexual you know to be um in that mindset and to be doing the, those um demonic things that's a plague and they call that peace they call this peace on earth right now it's madness man for for whilst they they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, man. So they started pushing around all different types of policies and rights. And now they made natural marriage between a man and a woman or women. Marriage is nothing but sex, all right, and the joining together of a, a man to his wives or wife all right um but that natural use they defiled it and they defiled the covenant between us and yahweh but either one slew another treacherously traitorously or treacherously or grieved him by adultery it's crazy man so that so that there reigned in all men without exception blood manslaughter theft and dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury 
disquieting of good men. You know, they 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 mess with uh, uh good men, right? Uh, um, forgetfulness of good turns, right? So basically, this whole world turned wicked, man. It became envious of righteous men, and uh, and that's just it, man. Uh, defiling of souls, changing of kind, and that's the point. The changing of kind. That's when they changed the natural use. It became homosexuality upon the earth after idolatry. You know, corruption, oh, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanness, man. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. So all this homosexuality is all stems back to idolatry because the original idolaters uh, um, or homosexuals became idolaters, them damn Hamites, them Africans, and Esau, right? You know, and then our people picked up on that in the times of uh, Syria and in Babylon uh, with the Assyrians and, um, and in Egypt and in Greece with the Edomites, especially with their damn homosexuality and in America today. So our people have become uh, defiled. Right, so all those stems back to what the rituals or homosexual acts that they would have to perform um, for the devil on the left hand side and their rituals, and that stemmed out to their personal lives. And our people picked up on that today, and they made it a goddamn culture LGBT movement. Well, that's that's all fuel for the fire because the Lord gonna destroy them, you know. Just for the record, this is Leviticus 18 and 22. Mind you, the Most High said he changed not. He changes not. He's the same yesterday, today, and every day. Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. You know? And I can keep going on where it says a man not supposed to lie with, with beasts. And they do bestiality. You know, they sleep with children in this society. Pedophilia. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And the Most High is about to bring his ultimate judgment. Um, as he destroys Sodom and Gomorrah, he's going to destroy America and destroy all the wicked upon the earth. Especially all the homosexuals They're going to get eradicated They cannot be upon the earth When the Lord um, set the reins uh, Upon the earth he, He's going to put his law His order back in place This is Jude 1 to 7 Even as Sodom and Gomorrah And the cities about them In like manner Giving themselves over to fornication Right And now cities are scattered All around America all right, cities are nothing but uh, a, a group of people that come together or living amongst each other. You know, you can be a city even though you're scattered apart. So everybody that's in that same mindset of being homosexual, you're going to get this right here. All right, and especially in America. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over for to fornication which is adultery right and going after strange flesh so they worshiping idols which led to homosexuality people going to church led to homosexuality people going uh dealing with uh gangs and devil worship on the left hand side led to homosexuality people going to jails and selling out and dealing with the left hand side, it wound up dealing with homosexuality. The Baphomet shit, the part male, part female bullshit. All right, that's their spirit. Shit crazy. They have demons on them. You know? 
they said what giving themselves over to fornication all right physical adultery and spiritual adultery and going after strange flesh meaning men going after men women going after women and uh uh and at the children and at the animals and a sexual uh uh stance you know or action are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire and if you people want to play with that yeah that's because you don't believe the most high exists so you think it's caesar Borgia, and that's the reason that's that idolatry and caesar Borgia is a homosexual faggot you know and they put him up as the messiah so his spirit is on y'all that's the devil that long hair and shit you know that love spirit they don't even know what love is love is not an emotion or a feeling as emotions chemical imbalances love is order and order is keeping the laws and, and statutes of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the commandments men being a man and, 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 and having sex which is marriage with a woman or women and women being with men that's beautiful right there it's a beautiful process that's already set in place but uh man humanity has corrupted that through their idolatry which led later to their perversions and ab abomination of uh, homosexuality male and female it says likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh despise dominion and speak evil of dignities, right? They don't, they speak evil of the men of the Lord when we out there teaching. And we telling them they're going to be destroyed. They call us terrorists because of that. No, nah, we telling you your judgment. If we was in court and we had to read the laws and then we read the, the judgment for that, if you break that law, if we say you go to jail, if you steal, if like, you going to put me in jail? No, damn it. It says it right here that you're going to go to jail if you get caught. Now, with this right here in the scriptures, the true law, which was set in place before Esau's law, it says um, you're going to get judgment, and that judgment is eternal fire. That's what the Most High got coming for you, damn um, uh, pedophiles, homo LGBT movement, homosexuality shit, and trannies and shit like that, man, flaunting your bullshit all around the damn earth and the universe and shit. Beautiful out there in the heaven, then you look upon earth and you see this bullshit, man. It's a damn circus. Damn transgender or damn um out of shape as Edomite wake up in the morning putting makeup on his face, didn't get no women his whole life. So now he going to a damn room with kids and he get accepted because he Esau and he get to teach the children. She's nonsense, man. That it's just nonsense, man. All right, I'm going to end it with this. Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear the name, my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise, with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as cat as calves in the stall. You know, so that's they the ones that get taken up into the chariots on that day when the sun is rising for the for the elect of Israel. You know, and it's no longer nighttime for us. Hopefully, the hopeful elect, and that's when the Lord gonna send His fire upon this place. All right, all the ones that's in that spirit of uh, the chosen. Of a uh, lot, right? All right, Amanda. With this, this is um Genesis nineteen and twenty three, where it said the son of righteousness Yahweh Shai going to rise upon the hopeful elect, and they're going to be delivered and grow up as calves in the stall, right? Um, that's in the chariots and in the kingdom, but the rest going to be burned up with fire when it happens. The same way Lot was taken out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And the rest were burned up 
and to pitch with nuclear fire, all right, with fire from the heavens. Now, lot, the word lot, the word lot means to be covered, right? And uh, it's crazy getting loud all of a sudden. All right, um, Genesis 19 and 23. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. So, you know, spiritually, this would represent Yahweh Shai rising and, um, upon the children of Israel, the hopeful elect. All right, and the word Lot means to be covered. And, and to be covered by what? His spirit and his blood and his covenant and and that's that um that the wah, the mark of exemption. Right, and covered by his angels. Alright, and ultimately his spirit. It says on um, twenty four. Then Yahweh reigned upon Sodom, even and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven.